Hey guys, today's foundation in the attic is the new Your Skin But Better Color Correcting Nude Glow by IT Cosmetics. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Kimmy. This is my attic and welcome to another installment of Foundations in the Attic where we basically test a foundation in the attic. Now, today's foundation is the CC Nude Glow by IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. This is a fairly new foundation on the market. I believe it was launched either last week or the week before. It's a couple of weeks old. Um, definitely no older than that. So like I said, this is a fairly new one. Now I have to tell you guys something. I'm going to make a confession. I'm going to make a confession. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you sitting down? Are you holding on to something? Here it comes. I do not like the IT Cosmetic CC foundations. I don't. I just don't. I never have been a fan since I've been into makeup. I have tried the original and I've tried the pink one. <laughs> Let me bring it up so I can tell you exactly. Because there's a couple. Uh, there's a couple of CC uh, correcting, color correcting it foundations. And most of them are very, very popular. People absolutely love them. Okay, so I have tried the original. That was the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I didn't like it. Then there's one um, oil-free matte. I've never tried that because I have such dry skin. I never tried that. I never expected it to work for me. The last time I tried, the last one I tried was the It Cosmetic CC Cream Illumination with SPF 50. I had very, very high hopes for that one because normally when I hear illumination, I think it's going to be very, very good for me because a lot of times that means that it'll be good for dry skin. Not the case. It really, really cakes up on me. I did not like it at all. So... This one, Nude Glow, look, I'm a sucker for anything like glow, serum foundation, stuff like that. So when this one came out, I said to myself, you know what, let me try one more time, one more time. Maybe this is the CC correcting cream for me. Maybe. I don't know. We shall see. I have very, very dry skin, so a lot of times, foundations, they don't come easy to me. They're, they're just, a lot of them just don't work for me. And like I said, I have never, ever had any luck with the CC creams from IT Cosmetics. But, let me go ahead and read you something for, from Sephora. So, this is supposed to be a medium coverage serum foundation. It retails for $42. Right now, it is online only. More than likely, that's because it just came out. So probably within, you know, however, uh, what's it called? Within a couple of days, or whatever, a couple of weeks, it will definitely be available in the store. Looking for how many shades they have. Oh, there's 22 shades, so not a huge shade range. Um, okay, let's see. A color correcting medium coverage skin tint formulated with brightening glow serum and SPF 40 that delivers an immediate visibly healthy glow good for normal dry and combination that always gets me worried because I really don't think that one foundation can work for all those skin types I just don't a uh, coverage medium finish is radiant a uh, green tea extract hyaluronic acid acid and niacinamide are the highlighted ingredients and in a consumer test um, after four weeks 93% people said their skin felt moisturized 91% said it felt smoother and 87% said their complexion looked brighter it always says the same thing apply one or two pumps of the new glow lightweight foundation with your favorite, no, not with your favorite, with a 702 IT Cosmetics brush. I will tell you a little beef that I had with IT Cosmetics. I did not purchase this from the Sephora site. I did purchase this from the IT Cosmetics website. And the day that I bought it, they had like this kind of advertisement where if you um, made a purchase at a certain amount of money, you got a free brush from IT Cosmetics. Now, I think IT Cosmetics brushes are very good. Overall, I'm not a huge fan of the brands. I will tell you, I'm really not a huge fan of the brand. They make a red correcting cream, like a red mo or red correct, like if you have, you know, a little bit of rosacea or redness to your skin. They do make a moisturizer that I thought worked fairly well. 
And I think that's the only thing that I can say I really, really love from the brand out of everything that I've tried with the exception of their brushes. I think their brushes are quite good. So I was really excited because I thought, oh, this is a great promotion. You buy this new foundation and you get a free IT Cosmetics brush. I thought that was really, really nice promotion. However, when I got to check out and I put the code in to get the brush, they said that this item, their new foundation does not qualify. So I was kind of upset. <laughs> I was a little upset with that. So I didn't buy the brush. I guess it, it, you know, you got a free brush if you bought something else, but not their new foundation, which I didn't make any sense because aren't you going to try to plug and sell your new foundation? Who knows? I am going to, however, be using it. It cosmetic brush. It's so old that you can barely see it cosmetics anymore. And I have no idea what one this is. I think it used to say, oh, <laughs> it used to say, it just says, now all I can see is foundation, airbrush, foundation, something like that. Very, very old brush, but, so it's worn off, but it is good. I do like it cosmetic brushes, and then I will use a sponge. Usually I do one layer with a brush and one layer with a sponge. Like I said, $42, and it has very good reviews on Sephora, but I have to say, I do have to say, most people... <laughs> Most people that reviewed this foundation write that they have oily or combination skin. So we'll have to see how it works for dry skin. Let's do it. All right, so I brought you in a little bit closer. I'm going to take two pumps on a Bath and Body, uh, Bath and Body Works candle top. I got that trick from Taylor Wynn. She used to always do that. I don't know if she does that anymore, but she used to always do her foundation like that. She would just like put a uh, couple of pumps on the on the candle top <laughs> okay so actually I put three and I'm going to try it first with the it cosmetics brush and let's see what happens it has a scent but I kind of like the scent it smells a little bit to me by the way, I haven't watched any other reviews on this. Usually when I do, lately, it started like that when I did my first one of these videos with the um, foundation. Uh, trying them, I didn't watch anyone else's review. And now I've just kind of gotten into the habit of not watching other people's reviews when I do um, a foundation review. Not that it matters. I end up watching them but I usually don't watch them in the beginning I can tell you I do not like the way this applies with a brush it looks very 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 streaky very streaky so let me go ahead and push it in with the sponge oh what was I saying yeah it has kind of like an SPF uh, smell kind of like suntan lotion It kind of smells like suntan lotion. So if you're okay with that, like I actually like the smell of suntan lotion. I like the smell of SPF. Um, so it's nice to me. And it's not strong, but it is there. Hmm. I'm gonna go in with another layer because I don't really Uh, I have an opinion yet. <laughs> you see. It is a very kind of a hydrating foundation. I will say that. Uh, I don't feel like it's drying out my skin. Now, the Kosas one that I tried recently, I had the same thing. When I put it on in the beginning, I really, really liked it. I thought it looked really nice, but then throughout the day, it caked up. But this one, I have to say, so far, it's looking really good. I'm not sure if I agree that this, to me, I feel like this is, I don't know. Maybe, to me, this is lighter coverage than medium. To me, I, I, I kind of feel like that. But 
maybe just about medium coverage, light to medium, definitely not medium to um, heavy coverage. If you're looking for heavy coverage, I don't think this is right for you. I don't like a heavy coverage foundation or a full coverage foundation. This may be medium, but barely. It's, it's, it's like light medium, I would say, coverage. Now, I can see it caking up a little bit under my eyes, but that is such a problem area. I have such dry skin there, like almost all foundations do that. The forehead looks good. That's another one of my problem areas. Yeah, so, so far the forehead looks pretty good. Um, Cheeks look really, like around here, looks really, really nice. Really nice and dewy. I feel like this one does, it hasn't really totally dried down yet, but it does have kind of like a dewy finish to it. Um, yeah, this one has more of a dewy finish to me. Uh, forehead looks good. Under the eyes is caking up. Around the nose. Eh, it looks okay. It's caking up a little around the nose. Let me finish the rest of my makeup. I'll come back and we will give it a test in natural light. Okay guys, so let me tell you what I am wearing on the rest of my face. I went ahead and put this on before I realized that it's actually not available anymore, but this is the Too Faced um, Sweet Peach Glow and I used the blush, the bronzer, and the highlighter. I used to love to pull this out in the summer. It is starting to, it's not summer, but it's starting to turn to spring, so I couldn't wait to reach for it, but I don't like to use things on camera that aren't available anymore, so I won't be using it on camera anymore. The palette is still available. The eyeshadow palette is still available and one of the blushes, the, pa the Papa Don't Peach blush is still available, but this little face palette, oh well. So yeah, I won't, I will be using it still because I always liked it, but I won't be using it on camera anymore. Also, I don't think I told you I used the Glassy Touch and Soul uh, moisturizer primer under this foundation today. I want to give it a good chance, a fighting chance. This uh, primer is very, very good for dry skin. I don't think, I, I think I would stay away from it if you have skin on the oilier side or even combination because it's very, very hydrating. Um, and it even a couple of times if I was using a very dewy foundation, even me with this primer, it has, uh, I have needed to set it with the powder. But if you do have dry skin, this could be your best friend. This one, I definitely didn't need to set with a powder. What else? Oh, on the eyes, I just did a very, very simple look with this palette from Sydney Grace. This is the Coffee Talk palette. I absolutely love it. I have been really, really enjoying this palette lately. You guys know I love me a neutral palette. <laughs> love me a neutral palette. I just used a couple of shades. I used... um. Java and cold brew and I'm reading it upside down. Ristretto. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but that's what I used. <laughs> yeah, this is a lovely palette. I do like Sydney Grace's formula. And um, yeah, I've been having fun with this one. On the lips, I used this from ColourPop. So when I got the Valentine's Day collection, I don't know if you saw that. If you saw that video, you know that I was I had gotten the um, the Fresh Fresh Kiss uh, liquid lipstick, which I don't like, which I knew I didn't like, so it was my own fault. And they had just come out with these. This is the glowing lip, and I said, oh, I really should have purchased that one. So I did actually make another ColourPop order a very small order I just got a couple of these and I got the new Star Wars palette which has been out a while now but I'm still gonna do a review on it um, why not so this is in indulge me again this is the ColourPop glowing lip in indulge me and I really really do like this formula a lot of times with ColourPop lips it's a hit or miss for me but if you have dry lips on the drier side I think you would really really like this this is a really nice formula so I'm happy with this. I knew I would be. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check this foundation out in natural light. Okay, guys, so here we are in natural light. I don't know what happened to the sun. 
<laughs> when I woke up, it was such a gorgeous, beautiful day. But yeah, it's only around noon and we have lost the sun. I think it is supposed to rain today. Actually, I think it's supposed to get super cold on Long Island and it's going to snow. That's what I heard. I hope that's not true. I am so ready for spring. I really am. I'm feeling like in a spring mood and now... I'm not so much. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, actually, I think the foundation looks really good. Um, definitely more impressed with it than I thought I would be, only because I normally do not like the CC Cream foundations. As I said, by It Cosmetics, they have never worked for me, but the real test will be at the end of the day. So, but yeah, so far, like, okay, my problem spot is my forehead. It doesn't look bad. Usually, like, my, like, around here is usually always okay. Um, even around, like, my nose, it actually looks pretty good. This foundation looks pretty good. I'm trying to get a good, like, the sun is, like, going in, so it's hard to get a good lighted spot. But I am actually going to run some errands. I want to get, like, some decorations up for Easter because it is coming up. It doesn't feel like it, but it is coming up. And I might take a run to Michael's, so I'm just like going to do like kind of stuff like that. And then I will be back at the end of the day, and we will see how this held up. So I will see you then. Okay, guys, so it's like 6 o'clock. I've had this foundation on roughly 6 hours. I'm telling you, the day started off so beautiful, and then it just progressively got like cloudy, and then it got like freezing cold, and now it's like snowing sort of. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Isn't April next week? I think April is next week, yeah. It's snowing on Long Island. Like, not like a lot of snow, but it's like, it's snow. It's like wet snow. It's disgusting out. It is freezing outside. So yeah, I've had this foundation on six hours. Guys, I don't even know if I told you I'm in fair. Did I tell you what shade I'm in? I'm I'm in fair. That's, that's the shade. Um... I think the one that I wanted was sold out because they had like a shade finder depending on what foundation you already use. But, so they had this one so I decided to go with this one and actually this is a very good shade match for me so it worked out. Um, by the way, I did pick up some Easter stuff. I did not put it up. It is, I'm just like tiring out. I'm starting to tire. I always get very, very tired around this time. I know it's like 6 o'clock. It seems so early but... My day when I work, I'm at work at 6 in the morning, so around now is when I start to get, like, teetered out, and I do go back to work tomorrow, and oh my god, it's gonna be a freaking long week because it is one of those weeks where I am on, like, 10 days with, like, a day off, and then, like, all my days off will come after those two weeks. It's, like, it's weird. When you work, when you work in, like, a 24-hour place, it's not exactly 9 to 5. Sometimes that happens, so I'm gearing myself up for it. But I do have my bunny up. <laughs> the bunny was up actually before. I don't know if anybody noticed and I put some eggs out So I am getting ready a little bit, but hopefully this week. I will get some more of my Easter stuff up Okay, so good news very good news. Actually. I am happy to report. I finally have a winner So I've been trying a lot of foundations and some of them have been worse than others Some of them have been really bad. Some of them have been okay Like I've kind of been on the fence, but I haven't found one that I really liked and I'm actually shocked because like I said at the beginning of this video I am NOT a fan of it cosmetics or the CC uh, Foundations the color correcting foundations. I'm just not but I have to tell you guys. I actually Really like this one. It looks it looks good. It's not caking up. Like I said, it's not, it doesn't have like the most coverage. Like that's the thing. It, I'm not even sure if I would call this medium coverage because I can see my freckles. So, um, yeah, to me, I think the one problem that this has is it's lighter coverage. It's either, I was going to say maybe it like faded away. <laughs> like the foundation just disappeared. But honestly, even when I put it on, I didn't really feel it was a true medium coverage. So that is a drawback if you are looking for something with more coverage. However, my main thing is that it doesn't cake up and it does look a little bit makeup-y here. I'm just noticing a little bit, but not terrible. Not terrible. I actually really like this one. I like this one. Now, it could be partly because of this glassy skin primer. I'm telling you, if you have dry skin, 
you may want to <laughs> invest in this. It's very, very good for dry skin. Also, I have to say this foundation does not completely dry down, but that also could be this. And I did not powder it at all because normally I don't powder because I have dry skin. But if you know, if you did powder over it, I'm sure it would help it. I mean, it doesn't really bother me, but some people, you know, I don't think would like that. Overall, yeah, I think this foundation is really, really nice. Like, it gives you, like, it gives your skin just kind of like a healthy, dewy look. I like that. That, um, it definitely does give it, like, a glow, like it promises. Um, it is more than a satin. I would say it is, it does give you a dewy finish. You see, that's what I like. I like a dewy finish. Most of the foundations I've been trying have not been a dewy finish, and they haven't worked on dry skin. And like I said, I was nervous about this one because all the reviews that it had were coming from people with combination or oily skin. But I have to say... Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it's really, I think this is a good one. If you have dry skin, I think I would pick it up unless, unless you are someone who's really looking for high coverage because I don't feel like this is a high coverage or a full coverage foundation or even really medium. I would say it's light to medium, like just barely approaching medium. So please do keep that in mind. Other than that, yeah, I like it. I think it held up really nice. It didn't cake up. It looks good on my dry skin. Yeah, this is probably the best foundation I have tried in a long time. So hey, what do you know? I do like IT Cosmetics. Your Skin But Better CC Nude Glow. This could be my new foundation. This is definitely my favorite one that they've ever come up with, but it came out with. But like I said, I didn't like the other one. So yeah. I would have to give this a good score. <laughs> I would have to say thumbs up. Um, I think you might really be happy with this one if you have dry skin. I would have to recommend it. I think that's like the first foundation that I have done that I have like really felt comfortable recommending and not being like, well, I'm kind of on the fence or I just don't like it. So yeah, I'm happy with this one. Guys, have you tried this foundation? I am ready to wash it off, but I have to say, it still feels good, like it's still comfortable. I'm going to wash it off, I'm going to take a shower, and then I am going to watch this um, series on Netflix, this documentary I've been watching, it's called Bad Vegan. Have you guys seen this? It's about a woman, she was a very, very successful woman, she owned a restaurant, like a very successful restaurant, which was a, it was a vegan restaurant, which is why they call it Bad Vegan. And she gets involved with this guy who kinda like brainwashes her. And it's just crazy, like, what, what she goes through and what happens to her. It really is. It really makes you think, like, you just, you never know. I swear to God. Like, I always say, you just never know what's going to happen to you. It's kind of interesting. So if you guys have Netflix and you're looking for something to watch, you may want to check it out. Anyway, guys, if you have tried this foundation, I hope that you will let me know what you thought of it. You can leave me a comment down below. I would love to know. I always love hearing from you guys. Guys, if you did like the video or you like uh, foundations in the attic, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. We talk about it all in the attic, and if there's ever anything you want me to talk about, please leave it in the comments down below. You can visit me at Instagram at Kimmy Teresa. If it's something that I can talk about, I absolutely will. Once again, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, and as always, please take good care of yourself so you can take care of someone else. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.